Hi, this is Patsy's World of ICT and welcome to part two of our scratch tutorial where we're making a helicopter fly around with the arrow keys. All right, so this is where we got to in part one. Now, something we didn't show you last time is up the very top right hand corner of the screen here, you can switch to presentation mode. And so when we click that, uh, we get a full screen presentation. Remember where we were in part one was we could move the right arrow key and the helicopter flies to the right. We can go up with the up key and down with the down key. But the problem was when we went left, the helicopter goes upside down. And that's no good, because I think when helicopters go upside down, they crash, actually. So we have to fix that up. All right, now to get out of presentation mode, up the top left-hand corner, there's a little arrow, and it says exit presentation. Just press that. All right, now this was the code we had in here um, for all of that. And the thing was, we tried using this point in direction minus 90 down here with the left arrow, all right? And that's the thing which flips our helicopter upside down and doesn't work too well. All right, what we can pretty much do here is um, we're not going to use point in direction. So we take those two blocks out and the point, you can unsnap the change x by 5. We still need that, so we'll go snap that back in. But this point in direction 90, we're just going to uh, take away. And we're going to do that everywhere. We're just not going to use point in direction. We're going to do this a whole new way at the moment. So these blocks are really kind of cool. You can just snap them and unsnap them. And remember, when you need to get rid of something or take it away, just slide it over here to this left-hand work area and just drop it down there, and away it goes. All right. Um, Actually, I might even take away that comment, too. All right, now what we need to look at is costumes. So up the top here, we're in scripts at the moment. All right, so we need to go to costumes. So costumes are on this next tab. All right, in here at the moment, we've got helicopter one, which is flying to the right of screen. All right, what we do is we go to new costume import. All right, now here we're in the transportation where we were before, but Let's say you're in computer or somewhere else. You need to get to costumes down the bottom here and go to transportation. And that guy we need is the helicopter. All right, now you might think, well, that's pretty crazy. What's the point of having another helicopter facing the wrong way? And that's true. What we do is we go to edit on helicopter two. So edit. And there's a thing up the top here, which is really cool, called flip horizontally. So we just click that. And hey, we've got a helicopter that's pointing to the left. This is really good. All right, now we don't have to change anything else here. And the other cool thing is we don't have to change the size of this guy because um, Scratch is kind of going to do that for us. And it knows our little guy is 223 by 158 here, our current guy, because remember we shrunk him down in part one. But it kind of makes the helicopter to the correct size for us, which is great. All right, so our costumes work is done. Now we go back to scripts. All right, now what we do is we need to go up the left-hand side here to looks. We haven't used looks here. Looks is where you change costumes, all right? Now, I'll just go back to costumes for a minute and tell you what we're doing. We want the helicopter to be pointing at the right whenever the right arrow's um, pressed, and we want it pointing to the left when the left arrow is pressed. So on the sprite, it's still the same sprite, sprite one, but we do what's called a costume change. And first up, it'll start out in this, dressed up in this costume where it flies to the right. We can actually program into the script for it to change costume, change to costume number two, which will turn it round to the left here. And that's what we're gonna do back in scripts. So you get into the looks for doing that. And up the top here in looks, we've got switch to costume. So we're going to switch to hot costume helicopter. So we're going to just slide that out. And when the right arrow is pressed, we want to use helicopter one that's pointing to the right. Okay, we'll get another switch to costume and put that down in here for the left arrow. And when the left arrow is pressed, we want helicopter two, the one that's pointing to the left. Now, I'm just going to move all of these guys down a little because there's one more thing we need to do, and that is at the start, when we're setting things up initially, we want it pointing to the right, let's say. All right, now there's another thing. If you need to clean up all those rows of things, you can just right click here in this program area and go clean up, and that kind of spaces them all out. Although that wasn't so great because it um, took them 
actually down a bit too far so we can't see them all. All right, I was leaving spaces to make it look neat, but we want to be able to see them all at once. Now, let's test this guy out. So we'll go to full screen mode and press the start button. There's a helicopter pointing to the right in the center. It's zero, zero, like, and look, it's flying up now. Can it go left? Hey, look at this. It's going left, it's going right, and everything is flying with all of its might. All right, that is really good now. We've got the helicopter all fixed up. So the idea was to have this costume change. It's on the right helicopter one costume when we press the right arrow as soon as we press that left arrow in the script it changes costume to that guy that was pointing at the left all right so that's it for part two uh, what we're going to be doing in the next part is to finish this off is we want some sounds we're going to try and make a helicopter sound in um, scratch and we're going to use a background have the helicopter flying around the city at night time all right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, you can go to the details in the YouTube video, and that will have a link to our website, which will cover all of this helicopter flying um, scratch tutorials in full detail and provide you with screen prints of the code.